I know there's a lot going on in the world right now. I hope each and every one of you guys watching this video is doing well. Um, today, we're going to be going through kind of a short video on Klaviyo notifications, you know, what they are and two potential use cases. There are more use cases that do exist. I'm just choosing to focus on two. Um, so within a flow, for example, so this flow, the whole point of this flow is to tag someone that's a VIP customer. You know, a VIP customer could be someone that spends X number of dollars in your store in total, you know, X number of dollars in your store over the past three months, six months, et cetera. Or maybe even someone that's purchased from you three times in the last six months, let's say. So for this client, right, we have the VIP set up. VIP is true. For them, we're doing it over a certain dollar amount. So someone spent, you know, I think $150 or something over the last three months is kind of their use case and definition. Um, but what we're going to do here is we're going to drag over this notification, which you could see I already have done. And we're going to basically just have this be sent to me. You can do it with up to five people. And the way that you can do it here is just literally by typing in people's emails, right? So I could add myself um, for, for a different email. Once I do that, what basically will happen is after you go through and set this up, you'll receive this email that just allows you to opt in to receiving these notifications. All you have to do is click confirm, right? So you've been invited to receive this from this account. Press confirm, right? I did that. So we're good with that one. And then what I want to do here is just put in something simple, the subject line, right? New VIP customer. And then, you know, whatever the content you want me to receive or your team to receive. So I just put great news. We have a new VIP customer. You know what to do, right? So I'll get these notifications for each time that someone becomes a VIP customer. Um, great news. We have a new VIP customer. You know what to do, right? So since setting this up about a half hour ago, I've gotten, you know, looks like six or so, six or seven of these people that became VIPs. It means that they just hit the $150 mark and spend over the last, you know, three months or six months or whatever the criteria was. And a couple of cool things that you could do is, right, you could send them a very personalized actual email from one of your team members. Again, you could just easily automate that as well and make it plain text. That's probably simpler. But I think there's a really cool thing if you have people's phone numbers or if you have their addresses, which you should, maybe you even get in the habit of sending like a personal thank you card, you know, sending them a text or giving them a call, right? Again, obviously you have to be careful around certain legalities around that um, and whatnot, but that's kind of one cool thing you could do around someone being a VIP um, or, you know, maybe you want to do it for something else. So if you want to do the same thing, but for a different type of buyer, that's really important to you, say a wholesale buyer, you could do the same type of thing. So you'll have a list that's wholesale buyer. And these people could join either when you add them manually or if they subscribe or when they purchase, however you set up that criteria. And then you can have this property update saying wholesale is true. And then you could also have an email that gets triggered to whoever's on your list. Again, up to five people, which you'd add here that says, hey, we have a new wholesale buyer. Repeat, we have a new wholesale buyer, right? Um, and that will kind of just send me this email. So I've had one person kind of become a wholesale buyer for this store in the past 20 minutes. And this then might trigger something to, let's say, your sales rep to give this person a phone call, right? For the VIP and wholesale buyers, I wanted to kind of focus on those because those are really loyal and kind of potentially large customers for you, not just currently, but also long term. So if you could do something special for a VIP customer as well as a wholesale buyer to really earn their business and earn their trust and go above and beyond, you know, there's a lot of really cool things you could do. You know, outside of that, use cases for this that, you know, we can kind of think of or when someone's left a review, whether it's a positive or negative review, um, you know, the list goes on when someone subscribes to your list, um, those types of things. So I hope this helps. Pretty interesting use case. If you have any cool ways to do this outside of ones I've mentioned, I'd love to hear from it. I'd love to feature it. So thank you.